It's Wednesday taste test time, Greg. Wednesday taste test time, James. Yes. What's Wednesday taste test I've time? I've just made it up then. Oh, I like it. We went to a local... You're right there. Yes. Get a twitch again then. We, we went to a local um, place where they stretch pounds. Poundland. And we saw these ridiculously flavoured soft drinks or sodas if you're from America. Pop if Pop. you're from other parts of America. Pop. Um, and we thought it would make an excellent video if we tried these flavours. More throwing up viewers. Here we go. Greg, grab your glass. GGG. Which one do you want to try first? I think we need to work our way up to the most disgusting one. Right. So let's start off with a nice easy one, because this one I think is going to be the easiest one. This, ladies and gents, is called Ka. <laughs> with it, might, if you put a K on the end, that'd be Ka. Yeah, which is very oh, much a possibility. This is a taste of the Caribbean, sparkling Ka. Caribbean, cola, spelt with a K. Cool now, value at 49p. Are they all Ks? Now, I think this is going to be just like cheap Coke, a cola. Just a tiny bit in there, please. That's enough. Thanks. That's all you're going to get, Jason. And this was 49p, and I think this is just going to be normal Coca-Cola. You ready? Cheers. That is not normal Coca-Cola. It's got like a... Mmm. It's got like a... Um, a zinc. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> that, Yes. Oh. Yes. Zing. Zing. It's quite... It's, it, uh, it's quite... Um, isn't it? I'm quite um, surprised. Yeah, weird. It's not like roller collar, is yeah. it? It's actually quite nice. That's not bad. I mean, even though I've just spent the last 10 minutes on the toilet, and I'm probably going to have to go again in a minute. Um, Caribbean cola with a KK, with K, isn't that bad? It's K. For 49p. It's K. Yes, Greg. What are you moving on to? Um, oh, I better swill this out. Gooseberry blended with crisp apples. Do you have gooseberries in America? We have them here in the UK. And they're a very acquired taste, aren't they? Some people love them. Some people, like me, don't really like them. So I'm thinking this isn't going to be a great experience for me, Greg. Well, let me... Let me pour. Now, some people might say that our glasses are contaminated with the other drinks, but this isn't a scientific experiment, is it, Greg? It's just a little taste test. <laughs> Causton Press. I've never heard of any of these. No, come on, Corsten. That's fabulously fruity. Well, I put a bit that's more. That's too much, Greg. No, it's not. Look, that's too much, is it? Look at the colour of that. It looks like it looks like, um, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh Goose man, is it? What's the matter? <laughs> oh, that's not good, is it? That, I the, really don't. Here's a word that. that springs to mind when I smell this. Rank. <laughs> Wonder what you're going to say then. No, it's rank. Are you ready? Oh my god, that's disgusting. That's not great. <clears throat> that's not the best. However, if you watch any of our other episodes of uh, where I get stitched up eating things, um, I had to have the squid, and nothing has ever come close to how bad that w was. All right, <laughs> done some more. No, really you sure? don't. Yeah. So we're not giving um, court and press. Causton Press Gooseberry blended with crisp apple sparkling water, fabulously fruity, much praise. No, we'll move on for that one. Let's go for this one because this is working our way up. This one's all right. I, this, this, this is for the we're cat not, brand we're again. We're not sponsored by cat. I think this one is going to be disgusting. If we, if we were sponsored by cat, we'd be cat sponsored by cat because this is cat, isn't it? Tea and toast cat. Uh, I think this one's going to be... Uh, it's Taste of Caribbean again, but this is sour cherry. I, I mean, I love cherry things. Oh, it's Caribbean. But I can't stand sour cherry. That's enough. Look at the colour of that. Oh, my. Wow. It's luminous. Look at it. What's your only board? You've got to drink all that now. Do you want some? No. Uh, excuse me. Oh, it smells good. Does have, it? Have a little smell of that. That smells amazing. That's, a, that's like the old-fashioned cherry um, aid. Cherry aid, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll have a little bit more of that. Do you think really? Mm. It's a bit sour for me. 
That's probably why it's called sour well, cherry. That, well, that's a bit too much, isn't it, Greg? No, it's lots of fizz, Jason. Yeah, that's not. Oh, you know, it's that aftertaste of. I'll just clear off. It's that aftertaste of sour I don't like. But. Well you know done, Kat. Do you know what that tastes like? Sweet. It tastes like the red dib dab powder. You know when you get the triple dib dab with a stick in it? Do you ever sometimes think when you're talking how old you are and what you're talking about? <laughs> That's what it tastes like. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The triple dib dab. <laughs> triple dib dab. So, all right, let, let's do them in order so far. Best to worst. Worst this end. Worst is that gooseberry. I, don't, I, I agree. Second best cola. Third best, I really like that cherry. Uh, well, I'm... Swapping them two around, but we'll leave it there for now because we've got a few more to go. It's, it's good viewing, isn't it? Brilliant. What's next, mate? Let's go with um. I know which one we're both saving till last. Pineapple soda. I don't think that's this un that unusual. Oh, I do. Pineapple. It's like lilt, isn't it? Top of top of good taste. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes the lilt, man. <laughs> lilt. This is old Jamaica pineapple soda. S soda. Who's? Why is it old Jamaica? Is it alcoholic? <laughs> Here we go. Just a tiny bit. Well, it's the fizz, Jason. You gotta get rid of the fizz. Oh, mine's gone. Mine's gone pink. Yeah, you're right. It's just lilt. All right, next one. That's not even as good as lilt. No, it's not. Do we do this one or that one? Do that one. What's it called, Greg? This is die die bergam bergam bergamot bergamot. Ber this is tea. Bergamot. Uh, we don't even know how you pronounce it. Bergamot. But it's spelled B E R G A M O T. Bergamot flavored tea. I mean, there's As a, you know, yeah, but there's a lime there. As you know, we have a little bit of a problem with cold tea. Yeah. Although I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Jason. Here's a bit of uh, breaking news. I've recently got into cold coffee. They sell them there in all the petrol stations. I've seen it. Yeah. They're, they're nice. So this is burger much. Oh well, that looks like someone's had a problem. You know when you've been drinking and you go to the toilet, <laughs> and you know the day after when you have um, that looks like that. Oh, it does smell like? You know what it tastes like? Bergamot. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you had bergamot before? Oh yeah, loads of places. Um, that's all right. It's something to it, is it? Doesn't really taste of much. We're going to have to crack on because we've been here for hours doing this. No, this is the one that I'm really not looking forward to, Greg. We were both saving. We know which one we're saving until last, don't we? We're so, going with this one next. No, we're going with the next one next. You want to go with guava? Yeah, because the next one's outrageous. Sparkling guava from Rubicon. Now they have got lots of different flavours. They do mango and mango. You've been worried about this one, then. No, I think this is going to be quite nice. Oh, do you? I thought you were worried about this. It's the next one I'm worried about. Me too. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice colour. Nice bit of a... Uh, white. Uh, oh, excuse oh. me. Sorry about that. I'm not sure about the smell. Well, I should think so. It's got gooseberry in, cola in, <laughs> sour cherry in, pineapple in. Give it a go. Oh, no. That does... That's an acquired taste, I it's think. It's weird, isn't it? Mm. Do you know what it tastes like? Yeah. How I would imagine rust tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what rust tastes like. <laughs> yeah, that's rust. Yeah, that's not I mean, bad. It's though. not bad. It's weird, isn't it? Rust flavoured drink. There it's you not go. bad. So, uh, here we go with the one we're both dreading the most. Let's I think. just put these in order first. Okay. That like, definitely that, that, stays there. Gooseberry is the worst. Mm. I don't think the cola one's it's that not, bad. No. Let's put them there like that then. Let's do yeah. that together. Let's put well, in I would put guava there, mate. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Then the pineapple. Pineapple. Then bergamot. It's hard work, this is. Really. So then... Yeah. So now we're on there. Are you ready for this one? No. This is the one that kind of triggered the idea, mm. wasn't it, when we saw this? Yeah. Because we go shopping together, don't we? Yes. This... Is cucumber and mint gently blended with crisp apples. Dirty cucumber and mint blended with crisp apples and sparkling water. Well, this is exceptionally cool. It's just going to taste of apples and mint because cucumbers with, don't taste of anything. Made with pressed juices. 
this is the one. I'm not sure about this. Guy. I'm going to pull you. No, I don't want to Well, I mean, it looks exactly like one of the others. Oh, smell that, Greg. Just have a smell. Oh. This is not going to be good, is it? It smells like mashed potato. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> mashed potato and rust. Are you ready? <laughs> good luck. I'm dreading this one. That is disgusting. Who drinks that? It tastes like potato water. <laughs> it does potato, potato. That's what I say. And then you poured the water. Mashed potato. Into that. That's what the water would, would taste like from your boiled potato. So if you want a potato drink, <laughs> why don't you get yourself a cucumber mint with apple drink? That's going, I think, yes. on a par with gooseberry. Oh, even worse than gooseberry. Do you think? But you can't be bothered to move them all along, can you? No. Nope. <laughs> so, did you enjoy the taste test, Jason? Um, I'm going to have some more of that sour cherry one, Greg, and then we'll move on. What's next? Something. I don't know. It's disgusting. They're all rubbish. I didn't drink any of them. Unless, did. of course, they're going to sponsor us. Then I love them all. You just did drink some of them? Yeah, and now I'm going to pay for it on the toilet. Would you like to introduce this bit? I would, yeah. This is what we call interesting things that we're going to tell you about. Otherwise known as... Facts for you! Facts for you! Did you know, Jason, that a tongue of a blue whale weighs more than an elephant? I just sounded drunk now. There was <laughs> something in one of these. It has really ruined me. An elephant's tongue or an actual elephant? No, the whole elephant. So a, t a whale's tongue weighs more than a whole elephant? A whole elephant. By me. That just goes to show, doesn't it? Here's a concept you might be familiar with, Greg. Are we moving on for that one? Yeah. So we're not just having a moment to think about that? If you want, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm done there. Here's a concept you might be familiar with, Greg. Okay. Cold weather can shrink the Eiffel Tower by up to six inches. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> now I've always got an excuse. <laughs> Even happens to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> We can't, going, really, so? we can't really go much further than that, can no, we? No, would you like a minute to think about that one? There you go. Hold on. Yeah. Thanks very much. That was, of course, facts for you. Mystery sound, Greg. Great intro. Do you remember? I haven't done one. Oh. Remember last week's? Uh, yeah. Did you know what it was? Yeah. Yeah, because you saw me do it. I saw you do it. Here it is, just in case you didn't know. What is the mystery sound? What was that, Greg? It was opening the car door. Yeah, it was. Here we go. Opening the car door. There you go. It's good, eh? Congratulations if you guessed what that was. And if you didn't, unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> Got a new one. Got a this new week. one. Got a new one. This one's this one's brilliant. Okay, listen up. Greg this thinks one's... this is really easy. I think it's hard. I. I do think this is easy. Jason, Jason thinks this is very hard. <laughs> oh, some more cucumber. Cucumber. I'll tell you what, I didn't realise cucumber can do this to you. <laughs> mashed potato. It is mashed potato. <laughs> oh. Ready? Yeah, go on. <laughs> I, I, I think it's really simple. Alright, here we go again. That extra bit might have just given it away. <laughs> I love that. That's bonus footage, that is, just in case you didn't didn't know what it was. Uh, go on. I've lost it. You've lost it? I've you lost have, it. You have lost it. Here we go. I think that's simple. Greg thinks it's simple. Do you know what the mystery sound is? Have a guess. Leave your answer in the comments below. Someone already has. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, it was. Yeah. They're right. I don't know, there's nothing there really. I'm just pretending. Mystery sound. Mystery sound. Tell them how they can get in touch with us, Greg. What's this, isn't it? Yeah. What and then? what else? Um. Uh, oh, where's it gone? Mobile oh, phone, Greg. Voicemail or text oh, it's message. Oh, it's here, Jason. It's Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's a new addition, isn't it? Send us a voicemail or a text message to this highly technological, top of the range, smartish phone. And the number is here. 
Is it there? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Couldn't have done the 80s, could you? No. Uh, or, if you would like to send us an email, send it to this address here, tnt at totgu.com. That's tnt at totgu.com. It doesn't have to be in capitals. It doesn't... I only get one line in. Well, say it then. It doesn't have to be in capitals. If you'd like a shout out, send us an email. If you would like the chance of being on the uh, Wall of Fame, then please send us a picture with your email. Picture? Your email? That's all we've got time for today. It is. I'm going to go and throw up now. Go and drink some more mashed potato and rust. No. <laughs> we'll see you again on Saturday. No scoop this week, remember? No scoop. Because you can't be bothered? Because I'm not here. Um, nor am I. So, there you go. There you go.